guys welcome back to my channel my name is Amanda and this is my January TBR now I realize we're a couple weeks into almost nearly two weeks into January 2020 which is crazy so happy new year I hope you guys had a wonderful holiday season um, if you don't celebrate if you do I just hope that the last few weeks were wonderful for you um, so I just want to get into the things that I'm currently reading slash would like to read this month um, the first thing that I want to talk about which is what, something that I'm currently reading almost done with is Dear Wife this is by Kimberly Bell this is a domestic thriller I picked it up because it was on the I believe it was on the Goodreads um, choice awards like it was one of the nominees um, and I've been loving thrillers lately also I just got a new camera and I keep looking at the viewfinder up here which I need to be looking here so it's probably gonna be a little wonky for a little while I apologize for that I will get the hang of it eventually um, but I'm just not used to it quite yet so anyway domestic thriller this was on the good Goodreads choice awards not it was nominee I think and um, this follows multiple um, perspectives. We have a woman named Beth who is on the run from her abusive husband. We have a woman named Sabine who has just uh, went missing. And um, so we're getting the point of view from her husband um, because he has no idea what happened to her. And then we have the point of view from a detective who is um, working the missing person's case of the uh, Sabine, the woman that's missing. So you get all three of these perspectives. Um, I have about, I don't know, like 75 pages or something left, which is not very much. I'm quite enjoying it. Um, it's nothing to like write home about. I don't think it's great. I can kind of see where things are starting to fall and how things are going to play out, but I, I'm curious to see where the author ends up taking it in the end. Um, but it was definitely um, a quick read. I just started it yesterday. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm just getting over the flu. Um, but I just started this yesterday and I'm almost done. So um, I've definitely been in the mood to read lately, which is great for me. And uh, I've definitely been in the mood for some thrillers. So I'm glad that I finally picked this one up. The next book that's on my TBR that I actually already finished this month is The Last Time I Lied by Riley Sager. This is his second novel. Um, he's the author of The Final Girls, which you guys should know by now. That is one of my favorite books. I love it so much. Um, and I wanted to love this one just as much, but I didn't. I gave this one 3.75 stars. Um, it follows a girl named Emma who is shipped off to a all-girls camp, summer camp, and her bunkmates mysteriously go missing in the middle of the night, and they've never found them. They've just vanished in the thin air without a trace. Um, 15 years later, the founder of the camp, Franny, decides that she wants to reopen it. It's her legacy. And so she asks Emma to come back and teach art because she's an artist. So Emma, um, decides to go back to the camp and she is just hellbound on finding out what happened to her friends. What happened to Vivian and Natalie and I can't remember the other girl's name, but she's hellbound, hellbent, sorry, on figuring out what's happening there. So, um... I I thought I had it figured out and I did it and I feel like it's kind of like a big plot hole here but anyway this isn't a wrap up I gave it 3.75 stars I'm glad I read it but I do enjoy I did enjoy Final Girls a little bit more the next book that I want to get to is The Broken Girls by Simone St. James um this novel I've had on my shelf for over a year now my lovely friend Brandy over at Brandy Reads um sent it to me as a gift last year and I just have not um, been able to pick it up yet so thanks again to Brandy um I'm finally getting to it it only took me a year um so this is a historical fiction crime drama type deal I think it has dual perspectives one based in Vermont in the 1950s and one based in Vermont uh present day um and I, I said I did start reading it and I was liking it so the first little like snippet of the story is just this girl who's going back to the boarding this all girls boarding school and it seems that someone's following her and then it just kind of cuts off from there and then you go into the next perspective which is a woman in present day whose sister was brutally murdered I think on these same grounds of this boarding school which I assume is no longer there um she was brutally brutally murdered by her boyfriend who has been convicted he's serving time but her sister doesn't believe that that's what actually happened so she's just trying to figure out what happened she's obsessed with it even though the case is now closed um at least that's what I get from it um her name is Fiona uh Fiona is the sister so yeah I'm excited to get to this one you know mystery thriller suspense that's just my jam right now so I want to read all of them plus I did pick up um the Sundown Motel which is 
Simone St. James' next novel. Um, it comes out next month. I got it off a of book outlet for early release. So, I really, or book outlet, well, book of the month for early release. The next book that I want to get to this month is On the Rocks by Candy Steiner. This is a new adult romance. Um, she wrote Love Letter to Whiskey, which I read last year and absolutely love that novel. So now I need to read everything by her. Um, I don't know much about it. I think it's about two brothers who decide to open a bar. It's a trilogy. I believe the final book just came out uh, last month, I believe. And um, that's all I know. That's all I need to know. I mean, Love Letter to Whiskey was so good that now I'm just going to pick up anything that she writes. The next book that I want to get to this month is City of Girls by Elizabeth Gilbert. She is the author of Eat, Pray, Love, and I've never read that book, but I've seen the movie, and I saw that movie at like a very dark time in my life. I was going through a really bad breakup, and um, it was just a very dark time. My best friend came to visit me up at college and took me to see this movie, and it just... Like, do you ever know, like, when you see something, you were just meant to see it at that point in your life like it just made the biggest impact of my life um and it got me through some really tough times so when I heard about this I thought you know what the, no one likes the book you pray love I love the movie so I figured you know what everyone is is just raving about this novel and that book or that movie means a lot to me so I figured I would pick it up this is a historical fiction set in the <coughs> excuse me set in the 1940s. I believe it follows our main character Vivian, I think is her name. Yeah. So 19 year old Vivian is kicked out of school. So she goes to live with her aunt and she gets like wrapped up in showbiz um, during the time. And so it's like old Hollywood glam, which is great. I love it. Um, it's kind of giving me um, Evelyn Hugo vibes a little bit. And you guys know that I love Evelyn Hugo. That was one of my favorite books in 2018. So um, I'm just I'm all about it. So it, it follows her um, when she's a teenager, like while well, she gets all like involved in showbiz and then there's like this big scandal that happens and then when she's like older in her 90s, she decides to finally tell her story and what actually happened. So that's where I'm getting like those Evelyn Hugo vibes. Um, but I've been on the wait list for this one for a very long time to the point where I almost just bought the book myself. Um, I didn't because it's like $22 I think on Amazon even. Um, so I'm just I'm dying to get to this one I, I love you know those are like all my it just ticks all my boxes really so I really need to get to that and surprise surprise we have another thriller on the list and that one is I See You by Claire McIntosh she wrote I Let You Go I read that last year or the year before I can't remember 2018 I think um which I love that's like one of my favorite thrillers I know I keep saying that there, a lot of these books I'm reading because um, they either wrote, wrote something that was my favorite or something that impacted me this month, which is kind of not planned at all. Um, so this is a domestic thriller, I believe. I don't know much about it, but I want to go into it blind. Um, I let you go just fantastic, so I definitely need to get to this one. I also have uh, another one of hers up there. Plus she has another novel coming out, which I think is like an adult contemporary um, that comes out this year which is on my most anticipated list. I'm curious to see how she writes contemporary because she writes thrillers pretty well so uh, actually fantastic. The final book that I really want to get to this month is The Queen of Nothing by Holly Black. This is the third and final book in the Folk of the Air series. Um, it involves Jude and Cardin and it's fantastic. So The Wicked King um, is my favorite book in the series, the second book, and this is the third. I heard that the second is better than the third um, but the second does leave off on a huge cliffhanger, so I just need to finally dive in. I'm just really scared to get into it. Um, and it's set in a fey world. Jude was kidnapped and taken there by her father, and um, she's human. And so it's really hard for her and her sisters to navigate the world. Um, but she's doing the best she can, and she gets wrapped up in Cardin, who is a prince, and he's evil. He's just pure, like, he's the most morally gray character he really is and I love him I, I love the story I just love anything by Holly Black um The Coldest Girl in Cold Town is actually my favorite novel by her um I read that like quite a few years ago right when I for before I even made my channel I think um and I love that one so in case I do finish those books I also would like to get to Little Women by Louisa May Alcott I've been saying that I want to read this forever I collect editions of this book but I've never read it I've seen the movies 
Um, not the most current movie. I have not seen that one yet. Um, but I would like to. But before I say it, I would like to actually read the book. Um, and then the other book that I would like to get to, which I don't know anything about, really. Although I think it's just middle grade or maybe YA. I don't know. Now entering Adamsville by Francesca Zappia. She's the author of uh, Eliza and Her Monsters, which I read a couple years ago, and I actually read that book in one sitting. I loved it so much. Um, so when I heard that she was coming out with another novel, I decided I wanted to pick, to pick it up. This just came out in October of 19, um, and I don't know anything. It just said Adamsville is full of ghosts. They haunt the coal mine, take long walks along the lake, and watch visitors from the storefronts. So... It's about a girl named Zora. It says that she knows that ghosts are real. I don't really know. I know the cover is gorgeous. It's going to be a creepy little like thing. And if it's anything like Eliza and her monsters, I know I'm just going to adore it because I just love, um, I love that novel. And obviously I just love all the things this video because I've said that so many times. I'm just full of love <coughs> and coughs. Okay, so those are the things that I want to get to this month. Um, let me know down below wait, what is the one book that you absolutely want to read this month. Or if you've read any of these, what you think about them. Because I'm always curious. I'm always curious to think, to know what everyone thinks about the things that I'm reading. Which is why I'm on BookTube. Which is why I make these videos and talk to you guys. Talk to this camera. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, Goodreads, and Instagram. And I'll talk to you all later.